Hi, I'm Dave Morrison, and I'm the president of ISO Acoustics. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the Isolator series of speaker stands for studio monitors. I'd like to tell you how they work and what differentiates them from everything else in the market. And I'd also like to discuss what you can do to improve the sound quality of any audio setup. I worked for 20 years for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation in the design and construction of radio and television studios. And I was always fascinated by how setting up the speaker had such a profound impact on the overall sound quality. And I'm always amazed at how often you find that situation or that setup is compromised, whether it be in a home studio, a commercial setting, or in a professional studio. Getting rid of that base smear, getting that openness is the key to any setup. And the trick to getting there is using those PIF principles. And PIF is placement, isolation, and focus. Placement is the proximity of the speaker to the adjacent surface and the supporting surfaces. Isolation is getting that speakers up off the supporting surface and allowing the speakers to float independently. And focus is tilting the audio speakers or the studio monitors to create that nice equilateral triangle and getting the tweeters directed to the listener's ear level. This is the core to the isoacoustic design for the speaker stands. Very simple design that allows you to move the speakers, get them where you want, create that isolation and the focus. And a couple of years ago, two of the world's largest manufacturers of studio monitors were interested in licensing this product. And uh, we decided to do this on our own, and so uh, isoacoustics was born. Well, the whole starting point here is the isolator. We take two isolators put a piece of tubing between them. We create a high degree of isolation between the studio monitor on the top and the supporting surface below. When we put the isolators in the frame and put a monitor on top, they become connected. And as the speaker moves forward and back, the monitor moves with it. And when we, just as the base is connected to the supporting surface below. And so this is what creates this parallelogram where in effect, the speaker's allowed to move fore and aft on axis while the base stays affixed to the supporting surface below. Newton's third law of reciprocal motion tells us for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So as the cone of the speaker is driven forward, the enclosure is forced back. As the cone comes back, the enclosure moves forward. And so the isoacoustic stand is designed to allow that movement fore and aft while resisting motion in other directions. We use a laser vibrometer to study the movement of the stands and to tune the isolators. The laser vibrometer takes thousands of shots a second across the face of the speaker baffle and the front of the stands. In this photo you can see the attenuation of the vibration down through the stands at 75 Hz. If you have any doubt about your studio monitors moving, look at this AVI file created by the laser vibrometer. You can see the speaker at the top moving forward and back with the frame of the isoacoustic stands reacting beneath it. Notice how the face of the speaker remains vertical and aligned with the listening position as it moves back and forth. This image was captured at 300 hertz. Middle C is roughly 262 hertz, so we're looking at the center of the keyboard and not some low-end subsonic frequencies. If you put a studio monitor on a homogeneous material with the drivers up above that surface, you'll find that it tips and rocks and, and oscillate and moves around. The isoacoustic speaker stands are designed to keep all the movement on axis, to manage that movement back and forth and keep it in alignment with the listening position. Each isoacoustics isolator 130, 155, or 200 package comes with two complete stands. The stands can be set up in either short or tall configuration. By using the short, long, or both tilt adjusters, there are up to 14 variations of height and tilt available to address the PIF principles of placement and focus. You can set up the stands to minimize the reflections while optimizing the focus of the high frequencies to the listening or mixing position. The upper frame of the isoacoustic stands are open, so any sound radiation coming down from the studio monitors passes through the upper frame and is dissipated out the sides. The isoacoustic stands are ideal for both home and professional studios. 
Our ears are typically 20 inches above the desktop when we're seated, so you may find that the tall configuration will bring the tweeters up to ear level when you're using smaller studio monitors. There's a common belief that isolation is required when the supporting surface is inferior and it may be excited by the movement of the studio monitor above it. But what about a solid surface like granite or steel? That's not going to buzz and that's not going to rattle. But to me, to set a studio monitor on those hard surfaces is like driving your expensive sports car without air in the tires. Just imagine if we went into your backyard with some nice round boulders and we started throwing them into the deep end of your swimming pool. As the first boulder is thrown in, the ripples move to the outside and hit those hard edges and they start to converge again towards the center just as we're about to throw the second boulder in. Imagine if I can make your pool infinitely large so we didn't have those secondary reflections coming back in. That's what the isoacoustic stands are attempting to do. Like a football player catching a ball. He doesn't catch the ball out here. He catches the ball and he pulls it in to dissipate that energy. In our case, we dissipate the energy and we release it again to go back the other way. That's the basic principle of the isolator stands and keeping everything on axis. I'd like to share with you some letters we've received from producers and engineers. Doug Doctor is a senior recording engineer for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Doug frequently records live performances with multiple microphones and strives to maintain a three-dimensional sound stage in his recordings. The isoacoustic stands are getting rid of the bass smearing and opening up the entire audio spectrum so he can hear finer detail when he's mixing. Doug is very impressed with how the sound immediately got clearer. The stands allowed the speakers to reproduce a more accurate bottom end. There is more depth, which relates to better instrument placement and clarity. The bass smear is gone, and he hears clearer low frequency fundamentals, a stronger center image, and a larger sweet spot. Ed Marshall is a producer engineer who records live classical music. Again, creating a fused field with multiple microphones, Ed is creating a three-dimensional sound field. Ed says it's like opening a window, as a phantom image no longer sounds like it's projected against a pane of glass between the monitors. It now has depth and recreates the placement of the instruments on the stage. The isoacoustic stands bring the popular Yamaha NS10s to life. They are being used in the House of Blues studios in Nashville, and the Grammy-winning producer, Vance Powell, has found they make a difference. He said he noticed immediately a clarity in the stereo image and the frequency response he had been missing in his NS10s. We've created a choose chart to help you determine which isoacoustic stands is best for any studio monitors. We are making additions to this chart all the time, and if you do not find the studio monitors you're looking for on this chart, Find another make and model that are similar in width, depth, and weight. We usually suggest choosing a stand that is completely covered by the studio monitor so it has a nice, clean, finished appearance. We will be updating the chart again to include the Isolator 430s for larger studio monitors and guitar amplifiers. The last thing I'd like to share with you is a sample of the AB demo we have on our website or that you can find on YouTube. You'll hear that the sound clarity is so profound that it can be easily picked up on video. This video was recorded at the Metalworks Studios in Toronto, which is one of Canada's leading recording studios. And you'll hear how the bass smear was cleared up and how there's much more openness in the mid-range. I hope that's given you a better understanding of how the isoacoustic stands work.
and what makes them different from everything else in the market. You can find more videos and get more information on our website and get the latest news updates on our Facebook page. I encourage you to check out the ISO Acoustic Stands for yourself and hear the music as it's meant to be heard.